Community Verifies Merlin Thomas reporting there. Well, with me in the studio is Mohammed Taha from BBC Arabic. Mohammed, thank you for joining us. Um, I just wanted to start by the Palestinian Red Crescent. They're saying Israeli forces have made a number of arrests during a raid on a hospital in Har Yunus. What do we know about that? Uh, indeed, Israel now is targeting Al Amal Hospital in Khan Yunis. This uh, targeting started uh, a couple of weeks ago. They are trying to approach the hospital. They are uh, claiming that Hamas uh, is using the hospital uh, as uh, as a base. The same story that happened with the Shifa Hospital and the Indonesian Hospital in northern Gaza. And uh, when that happened, we didn't see much evidence that Hamas were using uh, these hospitals. So Al Amal Hospital could be out of service soon. Nasser Hospital also in Khan Yunis could be out of service soon. And the, the, the needy millions of people in Khan Yunis and Rafah need uh, this hospital for uh, medical care. Talking of Rafa, the Israeli prime minister is saying that he's going to ask the military to try and get uh, Palestinians out of there. How difficult will that be? That is impossible, as the international agencies are saying, impossible to protect the civilians in Rafah if Israel would uh, carry on a, a land military uh, in, uh, invasion uh, into Rafah. There are 100, uh, 1 million po uh, point four um, people living in Rafah. Uh, it's all tent town. It's bordering Egypt. Unless there is a, an agreement uh, with Egypt that we do not know that these people will be displaced in Egypt, uh, this uh, situation in Rafah will be absolutely, absolutely disastrous. The Israeli army is saying that they will, disp uh, they will move uh, these civilians somewhere else. We do not know where are these uh, people are going to be. And briefly, Mohammed, last week we were talking about the possibility of a truce that completely seems to have gone out the window now. Absolutely out of the window. There is already a Hamas delegation in Egypt at the moment. They are in talks, but Israel and the Benjamin Netanyahu said yesterday that they do not accept Hamas offers, so it is out of the table. OK, Mohammed from BBC Arabic, thank you very much for joining us. Well, let's talk more about all of this with I.L. Mayors. He is a senior lecturer in peace and conflict studies at the University of